So you're thinking about making the move to Rancho Santa Fe, California. Well, in this video, we're gonna show you everything there is about Rancho Santa Fe, the life here, the good, the bad, the ugly, everything in between. And we're also gonna take a look at three different houses, three different price points, so you understand exactly what your budget would get you right here in Rancho Santa Fe. If this is your first time to the channel, make sure that you hit subscribe and tap that bell for notifications so that you're the first to know of any changing market conditions, whether it be here in Rancho Santa Fe or across San Diego County. I'm Dan Beer, and every single day, people just like you are sending us text messages, phone calls, and emails, or we'll get on a Zoom meeting that are looking to make the move to San Diego County. So whether you're making the move in nine days, in nine months, in nine years, we really don't care. We absolutely love it, and we are here to make the process as easy for you as possible. All right, so here we are on Paseo Delicias. This is the main street in Rancho Santa Fe, and we're going by Nick and G's. So Nick and G's, there you go, there's the sign. It's a really, really good restaurant. They serve great food. It's We're in the middle of what's called Rancho Santa Fe Village. And it's just quaint. As you can see, everything has this nice, like, kind of red tile roof. It's If you've ever been to Montecito outside of Santa Barbara, kind of a little miniature version of that. And just the little bits of traffic that we're getting right now, that's, like, a lot of traffic for here. So just a nice, quiet little place. Um, you get all these little boutique stores here in the heart of the ranch. Uh, a few little restaurants, coffee shops. I do want to point this out really quickly. You see the distance that we have to Solana Beach and to Encinitas. So when you're in Rancho Santa Fe, you have great access to the beach. Really, really easy access. In fact, depending on where you're coming from, if you're in parts of uh, Del Sur Ranch or uh, Forest Ranch, if you're in Santa Luz, if you're in the Crosby, you might very well be cutting through Rancho Santa Fe to get to Solana Beach or to get to Encinitas. So again, just uh, you'll see right here as we come by this, all these eucalyptus trees, and you'll see them across the street. It's actually, there's rumored to be over a million eucalyptus trees in Rancho Santa Fe. Now, let me tell you, somebody told me over 3 million, but I think that's a bunch of BS because I think I'd be surrounded by them right now. But anyway, there's a lot of eucalyptus trees. Uh, here's the bistro, or the bistro, I always call it the bistro. And across the street, worth pointing out, that's Positano, nice little coffee shop. I love this little window here. I'll give you a quick look at it. Let me jump across the street. But just has this nice little walk-up window that you see right here. So my wife and I, right up the street, that's the Rancho Santa Fe Inn, and that's we're headed up that way. My wife and I had the pleasure of staying at the Rancho Santa Fe Inn for a week while we were uh, attending an event, and every day we'd wake up in the morning, we'd go to Positano, we'd walk all through the village here, and of course then we would uh we we it's it's quiet so that's basically what we would do but we would also grab a lot of uh kind of after event snacks over at nick and g's uh try to catch lunch at the bistro uh time at the ranch is going to be around this corner and that ha they have really really awesome food there i'd also recommend that you check out the rancho santa fe sandwich shop which is tucked just back there really the rest of all these buildings that you see around here mostly they're banks Wells Fargo right there. There's there's mostly banks. Union Bank is there. And real estate uh, offices. So again, this is not a hustle and bustle location at all. But what it is, is just absolutely stunningly beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, just quaint little town. In fact, most people in San Diego County have never really experienced what the heart of Rancho Santa Fe is because there's not a tremendous amount of reason to come here to get anything done outside of if you're going to, you know, you're targeting a restaurant or you're going to go spend time at the inn. And we'll take you into the inn right now so you can get a sense of what's up there. That doesn't always happen. So, just give you kind of a look up the street here. Now in a little bit, uh, Rancho Santa Fe Golf Course is tucked down that way. And the Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club is one of the most famed golf clubs anywhere in the country. And the reason for that is that Bing Crosby's Pro-Am, which now is the AT&T Pro-Am that's been moved up to Pebble Beach, that it started there. So we'll make sure that we jump on that way. And here we'll probably just, uh, here's what I'm gonna do is I'll just turn here and I'm gonna give you a 
quick little look at this lawn. So a lot of weddings will take place here. This is a wedding area. This is a reception space. This, there's in the winter around the Christmas around Christmas time, they'll put out a lot of great kind of decorations and just little things here for kids to play and games and so on. And in fact, why don't we walk up and here we'll fast forward the video. But I'm going to jump up there and take you in through the lobby and out in, in through the restaurant. It'll probably be semi empty right now, just given the time. It's really not any kind of meal time right now. And we'll peek at the pool. Pool should be pretty empty, I'm assuming, as well. It's kind of a cold day. I'm filming right now in January, so it's winter time. All right, so we're popping into the lobby. Hey, how you doing, sir? Good, how are you? Great. And I want to just walk you up here. So you've got a sense of, by the way, they're in the middle of a remodel here as well. But you'll get a sense of just what it's like to be here in the Rancho Santa Fe Inn. It's a series and collection of all of these little buildings. And there you go. So it kind of has this garden feel to it. And it's really, uh, it's really, really a beautiful place. In fact, my brother-in-law got married here. And my wife and I looked at getting married here. But ended up choosing Madeiras. In any case, this is a really good choice. Something that you should look into if you're having a big event. And with that, let's jump back out to the street and go grab a coffee at my favorite coffee shop in San Diego. All right, so something to know about Rancho Santa Fe is it's one of the most expensive places in the country and in fact in the world, ranked, uh, ranked year after year. Um, and so with that comes very expensive restaurants. There's Mill Fleur, really, really good, but very pricey French restaurant. Now, that's okay, not my favorite, but right next to it is a place that we love coming to. And this is Time in the Ranch. And so Time in the Ranch is a, actually let's jump into Time in the Ranch. I wanna give you a really nice little look at it. But it's this place that is just cute, it's quaint, it has character. A lot of nice little people just kinda sitting and being, but look how, it almost feels like you're in a ski lodge of some kind. All right, so has a really great feel to it. How are you? Good. So look at that, kind of has like this ski lodge feel, really, really just quaint. And check out, always have great pastries. That looks like me. Does that look like you? Which one would you go for? Put in the comments. Um, I'm definitely, whew, I'm chocolate chip cherry. That's going to happen 100%. 100%. And what do we have? Because everyone knows, anyone that knows me knows I'm a cookie guy. So, now you see why I love time in the ranch. Uh, now, menu wise, right? Ooh, a lot of good stuff. Um, if you can smell what I smell right now, it is amazing. And it's actually one of those places where you see a lot of really good energy, really good life, and it's just kind of there all the time. So, with that, I'm gonna put you on hold for a second. I'm gonna get my order. I'm gonna get my cherry chocolate chip. What was that thing, a scone or a muffin? It looked like a combination of both. And then we're gonna jump out, hit an awesome little coffee shop, and then I'm gonna take you to not only the real estate that I've been promising I'll take you to, but Rancho Santa Fe is known for its golf courses. And so its golf courses, it has some of the best private golf clubs in the nation. So I'm gonna give you a feel for that. We're gonna drive through also what they know is here, what's known here as the Covenant. The Covenant of Rancho Santa Fe, which we're in the heart of here in the village. But I want you to see what the streets feel like because it is unlike anything in San Diego County. Completely, I mean, if I were to blindfold you and drive you through, you'd think you're in somewhere out in the woods, not San Diego. It's so much more just, you know, big trees and lush and all the eucalyptus trees that are out here. It's really a totally different feel. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. All right, guys, just jumped out of time in the ranch. Of course, any time that I stop on these videos to get any kind of treat for myself, I always share them with you. So look at that, it's peanut butter chocolate chunk there's the chocolate chunk yeah mm -hmm. let's take a look at how this went Ooh. You gotta like a scone I mean look at that look at the crystals look at this look at this so don't look at me I'm an ugly chewer just awesome but really you just promise me you move to San Diego. Mm. You move to San Diego, and I don't. Wherever you live, get 
over here. Go to Time in the Ranch, by the way. They don't pay me to do this. They have no idea I'm coming. None of that. It's just genuinely, first of all, it has nostalgic memories for me. And number two, when my office was in the ranch, which my office was in the ranch for a long, long time. That way we call it the ranch. So when my office was in the ranch, this was my like usual lunch spot. And I already told you how when my wife and I stayed at the Ranch of Santa Fe Inn for a week, that was our little spot as well. So anyhow, great. Uh, all the regular dishes are awesome too. Let's get out of here. Enough of this. It's not a food review. It's a city review. Let's make our way to the next place. All right, we're headed down to Rancho Roasters, but really quickly, I wanted to show you this gas station. Now, why in the world would I show you a gas station? Well, because that gas station has one of the features that I think is one of the greatest things on the planet, rarely seen. By the way, in New Jersey, it's the only way to do it, so that's one of the good things about Jersey. Yeah, full service. You have to love a full service gas station. Um, check out down the street, just see all the, all the trees again, all the look by the way like this what you see going with all these big tall trees that is not what you normally see in San Diego County like that's I mean we're we have a completely different climate than that it is uh, it's, it's again it's a place where most San Diegans have never even seen this kind of landscape unless they've been here to Rancho Santa Fe so it's the only way it, check it out so we've just arrived on this little right there's a street you walk up to this little spot Rancho Roasters, a little walk-up coffee shop, and it's just, I don't know, man, it's just cute. It's like got, it's got a little character to it. It's great. When they shut down, they just throw the garage door down. So we're going to stop here, grab a, I'm not sure what it's going to be. We'll find out right now. It might be an espresso. It might be a little latte, a cappuccino. In any case, we're going to grab something here, and then we're going to get out into the neighborhoods. We're going to look at those golf courses. We're going to look at the real estate. We're going to drive through all these beautiful winding streets through the hills, and you'll understand what Rancho Santa Fe is all about. All right. All right, ladies, before we leave the village and go check out uh, some real estate, I do want to let you know that we're about to walk by an eyebrow place, that Skinny Confidential. That I'm pretending to know who that is, but I know you know who that is because all the ladies in my life that told that I told that I'm doing this video said to mention this. So Skinny Confidential herself, yep, the one and the only, she does her eyebrows here. A lot of celebrities are rumored to do their eyebrows here. Um, one of those, <laughs> my wife does her eyebrows here. She's not a celeb. Uh, our great Mary runs our marketing at Beer Home Team, makes the drive here to do her eyebrows. Mary, where is this place? Right there, it's Brow Teak. Brow Teak. Brow Teak. So there you go. Ladies, that's your spot. I'm told that you will look fabulous. You look incredible. You have. You might still have 99 problems, but eyebrows won't be one, I promise you. If you go there, Brow Teak. That's your, oh, not Brow Teak, Brow Teak. Brow Teak? Brow Teak. Brow Teak, there you go, Brow Teak. All right, so let's jump over and see some real estate. Alright, so right here guys, we are at Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club. It's an exclusive private club. So I'm whispering a little bit. I'm up here just kind of in their parking lot up above. And in 1927, there were over 200 acres donated by the Santa Fe Land Development Company. To, and when those 200 uh, plus acres became the Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club. By the way, let's fast forward to today and then I'll take you to the history. Its membership includes the likes of Phil Mickelson. In fact, he's probably down there eating a sandwich right now or on the fairway teeing off. I mean, it's a pretty usual sight to see Phil if you're here at Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club. It's a private club that can only be accessed through membership. And to get membership, you have to live not just in Rancho Santa Fe, but in the covenant of Rancho Santa Fe. Again, the covenant is basically, think of it as all of the area in Rancho Santa Fe that's not gated. There's a lot of gated neighborhoods and there are a few little areas that are not gated that are not part of the covenant but for the most part all these winding hills and you'll see a lot of them um, in the streets that, as we drive through in this video that is the covenant and so it's what you what's become known for all this eucalyptus trees you see they're sitting right here behind me of course back even further back the way rancher santa fe was developed was uh, was over a thousand acres were purchased and they were going to actually create a eucalyptus farm here to create railroad ties and that ended up going bust they ended up abandoning that and then eventually became a housing development and it became 
this golf club. Now let's go back further to the history of the club. The member that really brought it to fame was Bing Crosby himself. He started hosting a pro-am event here that he called the Clam Bake. The Clam Bake paired businessmen and uh, celebrities with professional golfers. And so that tournament took place here and it, it went on for about 10 years. Now, that tournament, like I'd mentioned, has gone up to Pebble Beach. It's now called the the Pro-Am event. It used to be known as the Clam Bake, but this is the origins of that event that still to this day takes place at Pebble Beach. And it all started right here on this golf course. Now, very recently they've gone through a renovation. So they've created a short game practice area, expanded the, the driving range, and they've worked on the entire course. So I'm gonna go get a little bit up close and personal with the course, give you a look kind of down some of the fairways. So let's jump over there so you can take a look at it and then we'll hop on to our next stop. Now, while I'm making my way to the car, it's worth mentioning my personal favorite thing about this place, aside from the fact that the golf course is legendary, is the food. Not surprised, huh? Knowing me and if you've seen enough of these videos, but look, a lot of golf clubs, they don't have the best food, okay? They have really great golf, even some of these really prestigious expensive clubs here in Rancho Santa Fe, they don't all have the best food. Here, it is awesome. So it really becomes a very nice amenity that the residents get to enjoy, at least those that are members. And the membership is really reasonable compared to the other clubs around here, even though it's so exclusive. But again, you have to live in the covenant. So special place, let's go take a look at the, dry, uh, the fairways. This is a lot of people's favorite club in San Diego and it is, but it's a very hard and long layout. So definitely wanna be on the long hitter side. You wanna be able to, you know, just hit some of these kind of small, small little greens that they have, but it's a challenge. And there's a reason why the likes of, you know, anyone from Phil Mickelson to Xander Shoffley and the likes are gonna be seen and found golfing right here. So um, a big portion of the golf course takes place on this side of the street and then you'll notice that you cr there's actually a crossing and then the rest of it takes place out that way. So where we're sitting now, it might seem like there's, you know, traffic and cars and so on, but you really only feel that in like two particular spots throughout the entire golf course. And then the rest of the time, it's just not a factor because you're out in nature, totally away. Now worth mentioning before I walk out of here is you see, okay, we're at the golf course where we were just filming. Oh, it's back there, trust me, All right? So, you see all of this, all this area everywhere where I'm standing right here. So Rancho Santa Fe is very much an equestrian location. You're, it's, it would not be uncommon to be on the golf course and then have horses just riding on by. There are miles and miles and miles, tons, okay, of uh, riding trails all through the ranch. And there's a, there's a lot of equestrian property in the ranch. Uh, a lot of the property, most almost every piece of property here in Rancho Santa Fe Covenant allow is at least two acres and allows for two horses so some of them allow for a lot more some of them are built in a way where it's you know where it makes sense to have them a lot it just wouldn't really make sense based on the topography of the land but this is an equestrian neighborhood and that's just something worth noting it's a lot of fun and just kind of adds that in fact you can see right there that where am I pointing? That sign right there, that's a horse crossing sign. So if you love being outside, if you like the idea of these wide open spaces, a more wooded feel than anywhere else in San Diego County, equestrian element, and then a plethora of golf courses, not just the Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club, but at any, anything from the farms, which Mr. Phil Mickelson, Xander Shoffley, they also are members there. Um, anything from uh, right Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club, the farms, you have the bridges, which is legendary as well, and a number of other courses, then this is a really amazing spot. By the way, worth noting before I jump back in the car too, right here where we are in Rancho Santa Fe, this is also home to, to the undisputed best boxer in the world, Canelo Alvarez. So Canelo, of course, out of Mexico, makes Rancho Santa Fe home. So yeah, it's that kind of place. It's a place where Bill Gates has had a residence. It's a place where you name it, they've probably, had, you know, it's, 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 a, it's a place where because of how wooded it is, it offers a lot of privacy. And that's one of the distinctions. When you look at some of the most uh, prestigious neighborhoods in San Diego County, 
Rancho Santa Fe and La Jolla often compare to each other, but they have very different character. La Jolla, you're much more like, there you are, right? It's like, oh, there's that person's house. The celebrities, businessmen, etc., who really want privacy, for the most part, they actually lean right here toward the ranch because there's so much acreage where you wouldn't have that acreage in La Jolla. So many trees, and so they can really just have that privacy behind their you know, behind their property line that would be a lot harder to achieve in a La Jolla. So it's kind of a cool little distinction and it's one of those things, do you want, you know, your neighbor kind of nearby, do you not? And actually I kind of understand both ways of thinking, but that's one of the differences. All right, this is our first visit to a home right here in Rancho Santa Fe. Now what's really, really cool, you'll see just around the corner here, that's the village, okay? So that's where we've spent a lot of our day. So this is really a private feel. This is the house that we're here to see. It is listed at $2.75 million. It has just over 2,500 square feet, three bedrooms, two and a half baths, and it has this private quietness to it, but skipping a jump right over here. So this is the type of location where you're gonna be walking to dinner, you're gonna be walking to coffee, walk to lunch, all that. It's really, really, really wonderful. And then the Rancho Santa Fe Golf Club is just around the corner over here. So this is the kind of living that's afforded to you in Rancho Santa Fe at a price point that on larger properties would really not give you nearly what this house gives you from an amenity standpoint, um, a modernized standpoint. Okay, the house is from the 60s, but it's gotten, undergone a renovation. So you have Viking, co Viking cooktops, you have Sub-Zero refrigerator, Bosch dishwasher, all of those kinds of updated amenities. And what you have is also a manageable home. Okay, so one of the reasons that some people will shy away from living in Rancho Santa Fe is there's a lot of acreage on most of the properties. There's a lot of land, it's a lot to take care of, but this is a way of saying, hey, I'm not gonna so much, uh, I'm, I'm gonna live in Rancho Santa Fe because I love the lifestyle, but I'm not going to spend my time on my home. Instead, I'm gonna enjoy what's outside my home. I'm gonna enjoy the village, I'm gonna enjoy the golf club, I'm gonna enjoy the walking trails, the equestrian facilities, I'm gonna enjoy playing tennis, I'm gonna enjoy being outside and I'm gonna have a really easy to manage house, but also look at how beautiful this home is. It just has a like a cozy backyard. It's cute, it's, it's a place where you kind of just wanna get in a robe, drink some tea, and enjoy this incredible setting. Now this particular property has the paid solar on it, which you can see, it's owned, and this uh, solar look, uh, orientation does face mostly south. It does have a southeast uh, tilt so from an exposure standpoint the backyard is going to be mostly north with a little bit of northwest and you'll see that the street that we're on it's just quiet not one car has come through here since I've been here and it's a little kind of just dead-end street so there's this is the type of place where I could see this being somewhere that in you know once the kids are out of the house you might live in I could also see it being a place where before the kids show up you, you might live in um, and even once they do show up, as long as you still fit in those three bedrooms, you get all this really great space where you kind of just make this yours and they can play or your grandkids could come over, all that kind of thing. This is neat too. I just want to point out the neighbor. The neighbor with all these, uh, just all these orange trees. There's a lot of or orchards all over Rancho Santa Fe. So really cool. And then just look at this beautiful hedge that this property has, kind of Beverly Hills style. So anyway, that's what you get for 2.75 million in the ranch. And let's go to the next one. All right, new construction in Rancho Santa Fe, seven and a half million dollars. Check this out really quickly up here with the balloons flying overhead. The house is just across the street, but what you're seeing behind me are the front views. And off the back of this house, which offers 6,145 square feet of interior living space, is um, are some amazing ocean views. Really beautiful, big outdoor living. Something kind of interesting about this property though is, well, twofold. One is it's new construction, which is wonderful. It was built in, in uh, 2022, but it's only on 0.55 acres, which is really rare to find any property in the Covenant of Rancho Santa Fe under two acres. All right, so some key features of this house, it has six bedrooms, five and a half baths. It does feature a gym, a game slash media room, a candy bar, and the main, the master bedroom, which is on the main living level, 
It has, first off, a really beautiful uh, master spa, but it also then has an elevator from the master up to the second level of the property. Again, ocean views out the front and really a pr very pretty street in Rancho Santa Fe, give you that kind of panoramic look at everything that's going on over here. Um, you know, for new construction, it's really actually rare right now that we'd find new construction in Rancho Santa Fe under 10 million. Now, one of the things driving that for this home is that it is 6,145 square feet, where a lot of the new construction is over 8,000 square feet. That's kind of the starting point that you'll find most new construction here in the ranch. So a really good opportunity if you're looking to get into something new, but in a very mature, lush location. You know, most properties across San Diego County, if they're gonna be new construction, you're not gonna find trees like this or greenery or just this kind of environment because they're really just new developments that are you know, starting from just little seedling, kind of tiny little trees that have to grow. And so here you get that mature, just you know, already developed feel. So I'll walk across the street here, get just a little bit of a closer look at the house. And one of my favorite features of this house is the gym with its outdoor deck and just the views that you get while you're riding the bike or doing whatever it is. So there it is, that's seven and a half million dollars right here in Rancho Santa Fe. And there's, especially in the ranch, there's considerations you're always gonna have. Hey, can we have equestrian on the property? What is the size of the lot? Are we West Covenant, East Covenant? Are we actually in a gated neighborhood? So a lot of questions that you likely have, you can drop them in the comments. And of course you can reach us, email, phone, text, we'll answer them and we always respond quickly. All right, we are at our final home that we're gonna to visit today in Rancho Santa Fe. This property is at $10.4 million, but you also have over 10,000 square feet of living space, five bedrooms, nine baths, and you're on over, ten, uh, over two acres here. So the beautiful thing about this property, and I'll just give you a good look at it right here. Number one is you have privacy. So as you can see, this is as close as we're gonna be able to get, okay? So we have a lot of privacy, and we're on one of Rancho Santa Fe's most wanted streets. This is Mimulus, okay? So one of the reasons why Mimulus is as desired as it is, is the majority of this side of the street, and you see how pretty it is, is um, oh, off onto the golf course, and then this side of the street has just really amazing property on it. So there's another look at the balloons. You'll see those hot air balloons um, pretty much in a lot of North County, San Diego. You'll be able to see those here in Rancho Santa Fe, of course. We are, by the way, I should mention, about oh, 35 or so minutes, maybe 40 minutes to downtown and the airport. Uh, we have really close proximity, like I did mention, to Solana Beach, to Encinitas, and not far from Carlsbad. Of course, there's an executive airport in Carlsbad with some private flights and chartered flights, etc. So this property here, back to this, this is a home that I would call timeless. Okay, so you have a truly just beautiful, it's, it has its own unique style, as you'll be able to see, but it is a timeless property. And this is the kind of property that just gets, screams Rancho Santa Fe. So the family room at this house has a full bar with these big disappearing walls that just kind of spill out to the outdoors. You have reclaimed wood. Uh, the bathrooms all throughout the house have spa-like features. The pool is absolutely amazing. So the pool, first of all, the grounds are just lush and, and just really, truly stunning. Um, it's, it's a place where you could easily enjoy a morning coffee and just kind of walk around your own property and enjoy that. Of course, you'd be looking at the zero edge pool with its waterfall features and even a swim up bar. Okay, so this is, this is, a, this is a property that definitely, if you wanted to just give someone a tour through Rancho Santa Fe, and show them the best of. This would be one of those types of properties. It's been beautifully taken care of, built in 2001. The garage is a four car and it also includes a golf cart garage. Or, uh, yeah, the garage is a four car and also includes a golf cart garage. So you could take it over to the club. And some of the additional outdoor uh, amenities include a pizza oven, a full blown kitchen, a fire pit. This is a property worth looking at. There's a lot more that I can't even, you know, take the time to all describe. This is a pristine street look at that look how beautiful that is so if you're looking for the best of rancho santa fe this property right here at 6115 mimulus is one that you'd want to consider and i hope you've enjoyed taking a look at some of the real estate here because of how everything is set up you see this is what i'm talking about earlier rancho santa fe it truly is set up for privacy if we were in the same type of real estate from a price point perspective in la jolla you would have you'd be able to see the homes very, very, very clearly. But here in Rancho Santa Fe, this is where people really go that just kind of don't want to be seen, who want privacy. You'll get a lot of these gates, the house is pushed back, 
I mean, the most we can see from out here is what the side of this garage and that's about it. So having said that, there's a lifestyle here for everybody and that's the beautiful thing about San Diego County. So if you're looking to make the move, make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. So many questions are gonna come up about Rancho Santa Fe specifically. It's one of those neighborhoods that is you know, just known across the country and if you have questions, throw them in the comments. And of course, every single day we're setting up Zoom calls or te answering text messages, emails, phone calls from people just like you. And we'll help you make that smooth move to San Diego.